Welcome back guys. So right now we will enable the global ID for our feature class. You can do this for any feature class and basically the global ID when you enable it, it will create a new field for your feature class that will host a, a very unique global ID and this global ID cannot be replicated anywhere else in the world because the chances for this global ID to be replicated anywhere is like 10 trillion to one. So from 10 trillion different global IDs, two might be the same. So it's really good thing to use to enable global IDs if you want to have a very unique ID for your features when you created it. So the way to enable the global ID is very simple. You just come right click on the feature and go to manage and you say add global IDs. This is one of the ways you can enable global ID for any of the features or you can go to view, go to geoprocessing and search for global ID. And you will see here that you have adding global ID as a geoprocessing. So for example, if you have, let's say a geodatabase or a feature data set that have a hundred different feature classes and you want to enable global ID for all of them at once, you don't need to go through each one of them and right click and say, add global ID. You can also, you can create a model builder, add this geoprocessing tool and do iteration as we saw in the model builder video. You can do iteration on all of them and you can add global ID for all of them at once. That will save you a lot of time if you have a lot of feature classes. So you can do add, so you can add global ID using the geoprocessing or you can add global ID by right click here and say add global IDs. And if it didn't work or if it give you any errors, make sure that your feature class is doesn't have any editing not saved. So if you have got any errors when you create your global ID, go back to your map Make sure that any edits you created on this layer have been saved and you don't need to save anything. That's one of the things that you might face at any time you enable anything for any feature class or you do any editing uh, on your catalog. Make sure that your edits for this feature class is saved. So now we enabled the global ID. Let's go back to our map and right click and open our attribute table. And you will see that there's a new field called global ID. Let's close this windows you will see here that we have a new field called the global ID and for each feature we automatically have a global ID created for it and again it's very unique number and cannot be duplicated so now when we create a new feature it will automatically have a unique global ID for it as you see here and this is a really great way to do for any feature classes. And one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you design your J database, when you design your data, make sure to enable global ID for all your feature classes in order to have unique ID that is not the object ID and it's not a generated ID, but it's a very unique ID across your entire data. It will be the global ID. So that's it for the global ID and how you can enable it for your feature class. And in the next video, we will see how can we enable tracking. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.